actually going to start by deciding on a slightly different poem today. But then I thought, why should I? I mean, you never sat in the <laughs> and this is poor excuse, despite the fact that one of these dead and two I never wrote in poetry. <laughs> so, because it's the last week, we're allowed to let our hair down slightly. <laughs> and so, although I'm not going to read poetry, I have invited a professional poet to address the class before we start. And that man is called Dominic Berry, and there he is, and he come down. Hello, yeah, my name's Dominic, and I'm a poet, and uh, yeah, it's nice to be here. First trip to Dublin, eh? It's all right, isn't it, Dublin? Do we like Dublin? Being different to Dublin, do we like Dublin? Still indifferent. Okay, I love Dublin. First trip. It's really nice, really nice. I'm a poet. Are there any uh, any poets here today? None at all. Fantastic. <laughs> um, so I live at the moment in Manchester. Like I say, my first trip to, to Ireland, actually. Uh, anyone been to Manchester? Oh my word, it's a magnificent city. Very political city. Very... Uh, very sexually liberated city. Is, is Dublin a sexually liberated city? No. Oh, yes, it is. Oh my goodness. You're the person to speak to about sexual liberation in Dublin. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to uh, share a poem of uh, my own with you. I studied sociology myself, and um, now I'm a professional poet. I travel up and down, mostly England, sometimes overseas. I perform in theatres, I perform in uh, schools, youth clubs, prisons, uh, all over. I've got a regular booking in style women's prison. They can not <laughs> and uh, I'm really happy to be here today, fantastic. So um, it's, it's just a really good way of uh, getting stuff, I think, into, into, you know, really different areas. So I'm going to share a poem with you about, um, about something quite small. The temptation for a sociology lecture was to do something really big about some grand topic. But I'm just going to talk about when I was in Manchester and I was walking home from a nightclub one day and I passed a... Uh, a, a young woman, uh, I'm, I'm guessing that she was a student because, you know, of her age and what she'd chosen to do as a job, she was dressed in a very particular way, doing a very particular job, you'll hear what, in the poem, and uh, there were some drunk men being proper horrible to her, and they, oh, it was really upsetting, so I went, I went home and I wrote a poem about what I'd seen and what I think might have happened after I'd gone. So I really hope you like it. I'm dead grateful for Roger asking me a taste. The poem I've written is called Princess, and I hope you like it. She was not a real princess. On the corner of midnight and spirit, achingly sober, smile bed, moonbeamed, shaved armpits, paid to stand and wait. You could have seen she was no princess in the snow white of her eye when he told her, you are a princess. He told her, show some fire, flip that frown and wake up you. He smelled a coffee liqueur. We got half price booze and we are open till four. So shout it loud, make me proud. Show some shoulder, lose that bra. Bring the lads in, fill my bar. But she didn't feel like a princess. On the corner of midnight, still spirit sailing, fumbling out flyers, smiling, smiling, smiling. Felt like an origami swan made from unpaid bills, paid to stand and wait. We're in a world that will never ever want her skills. 
She could make you a crystal castle using just pasta and glue. Knew 12 ways to cheat at a Rubik's Cube. Could make up the best voices for pencils. But she worked for a bar in a strapless bra on the corner of midnight and empty. And seven little men got too close. Boozy, schmoozy, handsy, shouty, licky, pukey, and punch. Said hello, hi, ho. <laughs> nice legs. When they open, hey, do you like chicken? Well, this cock will get you choking. Do not pull out the goods if you're not selling to. Oh, if you were my daughter, I would still be bathing you. She knew that she wasn't a princess. Loyal to her boss, her prince, harming. She had faced these little men, these mice disguised as stallions, these rodents wrapped in beer, sticky manes. Nay! Squeak! Nay! The customer isn't always bright, but she was brighter than any crown. That was the day that she walked away. She walked away and then taunts turned to fairy dust, insults dissolved, the shadows clouding into candy floss. She walked away, body full of sunrise. Skinner, Goosebump Farm, Honk Honk, clear the road, rip down the corner of Midnight, spirit of Kate Bush, Lion Art, Twilight, she wow, wow, wow through morning, spirit of swift wind, blizzards of light help quivered her lungs and Rubik's Cube squares flitted free her feet. Like Billy Jean, she walked away and now, She might be inventing the rechargeable biro. She might be baking the world's first daffodil pie. She might have become a princess or anything. Thank you very much, Jesus.